Atlanta's Inspiration Station Praise 1025. Nico, hanging out with you, man. I'm I'm excited today because I'm joined by a very special guest. Uh, listen, I've been listening to some really dope music as of late, and I added this brother to my very extensive playlist uh, recently. And and when I got the opportunity to uh, grab him, I did, and I, I can't wait to share him with the rest of y'all. Please welcome to the show the one and only Mr. Stevie Rizzo. What's going on, brother? Hey, all is well, man. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Yes, it. sir. Yeah. Yes, sir, man. First and foremost, I want for you to let everybody know, if they're not familiar with you, yeah. who exactly is Stevie Rizzo? So um, I'm just a, a, a young artist out here living my truth, just being um, who God designed me to be first and foremost, which is just a young man, like, um, I came in to just do my assignment, which is uh, spread the gospel as far and wide as I can. Outside of that, though, outside of music, um, I'm fly. I like fashion. I like jewelry. <laughs> I like I like cars. I like I like, you know. I just like the things I like. But yeah, um, yeah. But first comes the kingdom, and that's yeah. just who I am. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I love that. One of the things I love about you, the minute I heard you, was not only the music, but your presentation of how, like you just talked about, the the overall package of. Yeah your artistry, and uh, I, I want to touch on that in a little bit, but I okay. want people to understand that because I'm a big person who believes in testimony and being transparent, Okay, and my understanding is you are too. Yeah, yeah. So I want to just dive in a little bit to, to kind of get to know your background um, before we move a little further. So mm-hmm. let us know about, like, how does Stevie Rizzo get to this point where you say, man, I really want to dive into this gospel game. I really want to inspire mm-hmm. people uh, and bring them closer to Jesus. Well, I grew up in church. So, like, my grandparents okay. or pa- were pastors. They, okay. Um, so, so what did you grow church. up as, like, because I'm Baptist. Like, what were oh, you? Oh, it's like non-denominational. Okay, but okay. I, I grew up with, like, the running around church, shouting, shoes same. off yeah. type. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 same. yeah. Ba- it's, like, basically Baptist. Like, yeah. the environment would be Baptist if you, yeah. Yeah. You know. You yeah, know. for sure. Yeah. Low key, it might might have been bad. Pews my, and red carpet. Low key, yeah. 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 Ours was blue <laughs> that would, though. My grandparents I, passed away, so I'm not yeah. I can't even confirm that, but low key, it might have been Baptist for real. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might have been. It sounds yeah, a little yeah, Baptist. It sounds Baptist, yeah. right? Yeah, it probably was Baptist, honestly. But um yeah, I said that to say that um as far as uh my music goes, well let's start there. That's how I grew up. I grew up with uh Grew up in church. And then when I was old enough to make my own path, mm. I was like lost. I was trying to figure out like with this church thing, how do I strip who I am? Right. Mm. Because I like jewelry. Like I said, I liked fashion. I like looking cool. I liked all that. But then when I wanted to do the music for God, I'm like, well, God, did you call me to lose all that? Like, why did you bring me all those desires, all those things that I like, I thought were cool? Am I supposed to now turn and, and stray from everything I think that's cool and walk a new path and wow. call that myself a Christian that way. Wow. And that was my problem. When I learned that like, no, who you are is who God designed you to be. Yeah. Now you take everything he designed and give it all back to him. Ooh. So once I took everything, all my chains, all my fly clothes, all my cars that I like, I gave all that back to God. Then I found who I really was. Yeah. But you know, first trying to lose myself and come like, God, I'm gonna just come to you clean and and you make me who I am. That, that was wrong. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. come come to him exactly how he designed you with all yeah. the things you desire and love and bring it all to him. And that's what freed me from what I thought I was doing right. I you know, I I can relate to that because yeah. I think we all hit a place uh where we're trying to discover who we are. Yeah. Especially when it comes to in the kingdom, right? So you know, like you said, I grew up uh, went to church all my life, was raised, I'm grandparents, mom, aunties, dad, everybody went to church, but it became a time when I was like, okay, well, who am I? Like once I left my parents' house, I was like, all right, they had me go to church all this time, but who am I as I move forward in my life? And like you, I kind of went through this little phase of kind of like <laughs> figuring it out. And, yeah. You know, doing some experimenting and right, doing some, right, you right. know, just being out there as a young kid um but once you find that place and once you realize that god accepts you as who you are exactly. and i know for me even in radio because i came from a hip-hop r&b background okay i struggled when i first crossed over i literally just told somebody this yeah i was like trying to act as like most gospel people that I was used to hearing. You know what I'm <laughs> right. saying? But it didn't fit. <laughs> right. I was like trying to say every scripture, every yeah. time. And you know, like I was like, my wife was like, um, that is not who you are. Exactly. Like you need to meet people in the middle. Like yeah. and so I, I, I definitely appreciate that you did that. Yeah. Um let's talk about this uh this new EP that you put out this past September, Surrender the Will. Mm-hmm. And I just heard Unconditional Love. Let's talk about that a little bit. So unconditional love came from a place of me trying to, 
I, I listen, I thought I was in control of God's love. Mm. I thought the more I did what he wanted me to do, the more he would love me. The more mm. I showed up, the more I was obedient, the more he would love me. And then like, that's such a crazy thing when you realize you're wrong. Right, it's right. nothing you can do to change God's love. Yeah. His love is truly unconditional. Yeah. I mean, I can't, just because I don't, do any sin for this hour that don't mean god loved me more that hour right right right, right. you know it's no good or bad i can do to change god's love and that was just that just freed me because like mm. i would i would burden like where the burden of like am i doing everything right am i am i good enough am i walking the life he want me to walk wow. like and if not then he's not gonna love me or they doing better than me because god probably loves them more why wow. god don't love me like he loved them like learning that like i'm not in control of god's love i can't change it yeah. No bad or good I can do to cha- alter his love for me. Man. That was like the biggest thing to me. Uh-huh, then I, yeah. And then I went to like, well, well, wow, God, how can you love me through all this bad? How can your love truly be unconditional? Right, 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 right. And that's where this song came from. I'm like, okay, yeah, I got to write a song about this. Yeah, man, that's why grace is so important. Yeah. Uh, because you know, I think we definitely have all been in a place where you're like, God, you still love me after that? Exactly. Like, the way I talk, like, you know, like I could have changed my tone or did this differently, but you realize that God accepts you again as who you are. Right. Um, man, I, you're doing something really cool. Um, for those who just joining us, we're st- speaking with Stevie Rizzo and, uh, the, I, I heard that you are releasing a, a, or plan on releasing a, a song every month, every month, every month. Yeah. So. How many songs do you have, man? <laughs> uh, uh, we have a full catalog. Out right now, we probably got over 80 songs out right now. Whoa. But um, listen, man, the gospel ain't going to spread itself. Yeah. So that's all yeah. it's about is getting this gospel as far as we can. And um, yeah, we're just going to try to do that on a consistent basis. Yeah, yeah. So do you, let me ask you from an artistry standpoint, mm-hmm. like, do you often like have songs that you want to kind of keep? Like, is it a struggle to be like, I want to hold on to this one because this one could be for the the album or or, or whatever uh well this is what i'll say this is what i learned as a songwriter yeah. i learned that sometimes you are a carrier of messages and sometimes you're a deliverer of messages mm. so delivering a message means it just comes from me to you i delivered it my job is yeah. done sometimes i carry messages where when people see me they're going to be reminded by that message yeah i wear that message yeah. i speak on it fluently you know so you have to let it go sometimes some songs yeah. you might really love but you may just be a deliverer of it and you got to let it go Absolutely. So I try not to hold on too tight. <laughs> I love that. I love that. If you're just joining us, we're speaking with Stevie Rizzo. Listen, this man is super talented. Speaking of talented, he mentioned earlier about clothing. And yeah, uh, yeah I hear uh, Crowned Up Clo- Club. Is yeah, that the, the Crowned Up Club. Okay, so where did that come yeah, from? Let's shout talk out about to that. the Crowned Up Club, man. Um, so the Crowned Up Club is just for the people that really rock with my music. Yeah. The people that got me on text message. Um, you can get my number from Instagram. Uh, you can text me. But text me directly. They never think it's me. It's really me. Wow. But these are like my direct people. They really help me to keep going. Yeah. And um, what we do is we, we wear the crown boldly. Yeah. You know, we carry that crown where we go. We represent the kingdom and all things we do. Yeah. And if you down with it, you are part of the crowned up club. You Love you, it. you hold your crown high and you uh, wear it to the world. I love it. Love it. Yeah. Hey, man, Stevie Rizzo. Uh, man, for those who are not following you and who need to know more about you 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 already said your number is already on ig yeah, yep. uh where can they where can they find out more about stevie rizzo so all my social handles is i am stevie rizzo that's i a m stevie r i z o uh yeah so tap in with me everywhere or just go to my website stevie yeah. rizzo.com and um yeah man hit me on the text message i'm gonna text back it's not a robot <laughs> it's really me and uh yeah man that's really tap in and really try to push the kingdom forward together all right, cool. So I want to do something really quick with you. So let's 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 break let's break the record a little bit, if you yeah. will. Uh, unconditional love. Why don't you throw to it right now? All right. So listen for all, <laughs> for all my listeners out there that think love is in their control. Listen, let me tell you now, love is not to be controlled. If you can control it, it isn't love. True love is unconditional. So this song right here is by your boy, one and only Stevie Rizzo, and it's unconditional. Let's go. Stevie Rizzo, everybody, is praise. 